Let's discuss the topic on Ghana versus Murray rule. Insolvency of a partner. On dissolution, if a partner's capital account shows a debit balance, the partner has to pay the debit balance to the firm. If the partner is insolvent, the amount payable will be recoverable in whole or in part. The recoverable amount is a loss to the firm. Such loss, deficiency, has to be borne by the solvent partners. Before the year 1904, this deficiency was borne by the solvent partners in their profit-sharing ratio. But in 1904, a very important decision was given in the case of Ghana versus Murray on this point. Ghana versus Murray Rule 1. All the solvent partners should bring cash equal to their share of the loss on realization. 2. The deficiency of the insolvent partner must be borne by the solvent partners in the ratio of their capital's thin standing. But if some partner is having a debit balance on his capital account and is not insolvent, then he cannot be called upon to bear loss on account of the insolvency of other partners.